Hi everyone. This time we will talk uh, about multi-chain and this is a nice feature in post configurator very powerful um, especially for multi machines complex machine tool centers and uh, yeah give me uh, or yeah let me give you an introduction into it um, how it works what you have to take care of, and so on a little bit about the concept so first uh, what I directly want to mention here um, uh, from uh, post hub from our download site um, there's this uh, trainings material and best practice and if you download this package um, then you will find into that folder post configurator training PDF I think I already mentioned it in the first weekly tech tip already but there's one uh, PDF uh, document which is very important this is this multi chain one and two which contains uh, basically uh, also it's an introduction into it a little bit more details but um, I will do all those things today in the system here. Okay, so let's start it. Let's go into this cool feature of uh, multi-chain. Um, basically, I have a Milton part here, and um, so I have a Milton machine, and I also create this post processor without any machine tool model, just to show you the features. Um, that's not mandatory to have the machine tool model. It make it easy at some point. So let's create a new post processor. Um, today, let's say we use uh, Cinemeric. So let's say we make a Cinemeric uh, Milton post processor, give it a name, as every time goes to some uh, location where I want to save it. We using the Cinemeric 840D in this context. For sure, you also can use it with Farnum, Kainhain, Ukuma, any other controller of the world. You want to create a post processor with Xenix. So I will include this community layer here to directly have some uh, preset of the options. And for the following weekly tech tips, uh, I also will do something inside of that. Kinematic configuration, we can use our uh, last from the last weekly tech tips is a BC dual table or just a standard one. Let's uh, use a standard one uh, without this kinematic configuration. Okay, so I create the post processor and um, now the first thing is in the real machine kinematics, I, 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 I will not be tired to mention it. We have the default kinematic here as a BC 45 degrees, and we have to set up first our post processor to a generic mill term post processor. That means the machine mode, currently it's only mill, we have for sure switched it to mill term to support it. Then um, this now depends on your uh, machine type. Do you have a head table, dual head machine, dual table? Do you have devices, whatever? Let's assume we have today a um, dual uh, table. And um, again, setting up some uh, kinematics. So uh, it's a table. Yeah, we have limits in B. Let's keep it as it is. <clears throat> For sure, define the vector. And C has no limits and um, vectors also fine. So let's save this modifications. And um, now what is the um, result when you switch this to mill turn? Then uh, let me post process a, a milling operation here. Just click uh, post process. You will, we will get our uh, milling G code. And if I select a facing operation or turning operation here, I will get uh, some turning output. So, and now let's assume the case in uh, milling and turning, I want to have a different tool change, for example. So um, in the past with a post builder, you have to use a link post or there's a way to use a link post. You for sure, you also can make it in one post with um, switching all the time, the machine mode and so on. Um, in post configurator, this concept is uh, different. So we added a new functionality that you only have one post processor and this post processor handle all kinematic configurations you have in your Milton machine or if you have multiple devices. So um, to do that, uh, let's uh, create a new layer here. And uh, again, uh, let's say behind the machine tool library and we want to create a generic uh, Milton layer. So it's a Milton, Milton layer, Milton. And yeah, maybe let's create a definition file too. Uh, if we have uh, maybe some block addresses or addresses we want to change later on. So now we can start with our modifications. 
there's one first important command uh, for the today's session to get the view of this multi-chain. So for that, we I go into the Milton TCL file, and now um, just typing chain, and you will get a command here which is named libge-conf at chain. Um, it's also in the documentation. Uh, I will directly explain it here. So um, this command basically needs an argument of the chain ID. This is a, like a unique identifier. The UI name, that is what you will be see here in the UI in a minute. A description, just um, description text and the sequence I uh, want to explain also a little bit later on. So I use a, a auto completion here. Okay, so we have to give it a name. So let's say it's our um, uh, turn ID. That is the name of the or the unique identifier. That is the UI name. So that is my turning chain, and um, that is the description. So just let me use description and the sequence minus one. As I said, I will explain in a second. So if you add this command here. Let me click OK. You will recognize a change in the UI now. You have an additional tab, turning chain. And you have chain mapping conditions here. I will handle in the, in the next weekly tech tip. So basically, what is the intention of this feature? You have one post processor. And for example, the tool change. As I mentioned, um, in case of uh, turning, I want to have a tool change by name. So what you now can do, there's a new button or a, a new button appears besides the property. You select this one and say, okay, I want to add this property to the turning chain. And you now switch to turning chain. It is like a duplicate of the default view. And I have the property tool change here because we believe in, uh, in case of multi machines, there is not much difference in, in uh, settings, but for sure some of them are very um, or are needed. And so you have to uh, add the properties which are different to the turning chain. So and here I say now to change by name and save my modification. That you can do now with every property. Um, one important thing here for the real machine kinematics. So currently we have it uh, set up as a, a milturn. You see, you cannot add this property to a chain because I have a milturn or I don't have a milturn. So that makes totally sense. But the machine type for each chain configuration, it's different. In case of milling, I, for sure I have a five axis dual table, but in case of uh, turning, I have maybe just a two axis lace output. So that means I put this also to the turning chain, go to my turning chain and say, okay, it's only a two axis lace and save my modification. So that is basically first how to set up the things. Currently when we post process, you will not see any uh, difference yet because the uh, chain condition or the mapping is missing. That I will explain now in the next weekly tech tip. And yeah, so hope you enjoy it. Bye.